Hey guys and welcome to another day on the shop. Today is the beginning of a new year. Today is the beginning of a new project. So that's what we're getting into and we're going to take a little road trip because I've got to go pick it up. So. Uh. Alright, so trailer is hooked up. Now we gotta unload all this. That's a uh, scaffolding for a new project. What do I do around here? New projects. Old projects. A lot of them either get done or try to get done. So yeah. That's the fun of it. So we're gonna slip this thing into four-wheel drive real quick just to make sure I don't ruin my yard too much. Trying to run my dog over. Pull this next to the shop. And unload all this scaffolding. And then onward to the new project. So, let's unload this thing. Alright, it's funny, January 2nd, 2023, it's like 8.30, and it's already probably about, I don't know, 70 degrees, with a heck of a lot of humidity. Well, sure it was empty. Dog's over there. Dirty. Alright, time to hit the road. Alright, so we're on the road now. About two hours away, and we'll get to look at the uh, new project. Some of y'all will enjoy it, some of y'all won't care. But it's useful, and that's all that matters. So most of my content on here is, well, I, I can't say most of it's useful, but a lot of it's helped me out, so y'all get a joy out of this somehow or just it erases boredom for about I don't know how long this video is going to be 10 minutes 30 minutes so <sighs> let's go get some gas a snack and uh, get over there So we're at Bucky's, or as some people call it, Busey's. Get some fuel, filling up. Gonna go get a sandwich. So, yep. And we'll be there in just a few. At the food. All right, so back in the truck. And got me my Busey biscuit. Onward. All right, so the uh, the vehicle is acquired. I'm gonna show you all until I get back. But uh, I'm hoping I don't have any tire issues because I got some dry rotted tires with some flat spots. So let's venture two hours home. And uh, see what we can get into once we get there, and I'll show y'all what I got. So I just arrived at home now with uh, the product. It is a Ford, like I said, a Ford. 
So, what did I get? Another expedition. So this one's not covered in rust like my other ones. This one's a limited. The exterior's on it. It's great. Got 20s. They're a little bit curve rashed and got a couple little nicks here and there. But other than that, there's no actual body damage other than the front has just a little nick on the bumper where it's split. But got a little scratch right there that has some paint on it, but that's not bad. Like I said anything's better than what we have going on, and that's broken right there. So, other than that, we got a little ride along creature in there, and it looks like some power steering issues right there. So, I can do the power steering fix on it. So, let's uh Let's take a look inside. All right, so it's got 100 and, or 230,000 miles. It runs a little bit rough. The interior is not too bad. It's dirty because oh, the person I was buying it from didn't feel like cleaning it too much. But here we are. So I got a vacuum. I'm gonna clean some stuff out. It's nasty. Uh, but we got. Things everywhere. Sunroof. Boom, boom. Got the navigation. I want to change this out sometime. Got the automatic lift for the rear gate. Oh, I have the DVD entertainment system. That's pretty clean. Uh, between the seats is not. It's got junk all down there. Stickers and random stuff. Oh. Let's go back. So, it's got these weird aftermarket things. It's got a split in the seat, but that's not too bad. Got heated, cooled seats. Uh, tires have good, uh, good amount of tire on them. The brakes, they'll have to be changed soon, uh, within months. Oh, let's get it back here. All right. So, it's back here. We got the DVD player. That's awesome. A little dirty. We got something for Phillips. I guess that's another DVD holder. I don't know. Looks like I'm missing a screw there, though. So, somebody's been in there. Got uh, headphones. They need new covers. But, got headphones for the DVD system. We'll see if they work. They should, hopefully. Uh, I don't know what the heck this thing is. But I guess it keeps it clean for back there. All that has hay in it still. And seashells and carpet. We might be stealing some of the stuff out of the other car for this to make it look better. This one has the same problem mine does. Oh, the upper part looks good. So we got all that. Let's move on. Oh look, monies. Oh, this thing should shine up pretty good. Oh, let's see if this button works. This button. No? That's that. Let's see. Oh, that's just the glass. I don't know how to make this work. Let's see. There it is. You just press the button. Well, there's that okay seats up and down can't do that because of the, the headrest pull those for the headrest it's got some good power so the battery's good just got crap everywhere and typical for a Ford these little things don't really do good Rear outlet, rear fuel reset. Uh, press this button again. Move out of the way so it doesn't hit me. Look at there. Pretty fancy. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to crank this thing and back it down now. So, the issue it has, you'll hear it when I go crank it. Oh. Uh, get back up in here. 
Eh. All right, let's crank this thing. All right, it's gonna sound pretty bad. Yeah. Gotta check engine light. It's misfiring somewhere. We're gonna back this thing down. Let's see. Put in reverse. Ooh. Put my window down so I can actually see. We're doing good. Doing good. I'm backing down the trailer. All right. There we are. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Give me a the second video. We're gonna diagnose and find out what this is. And hopefully fix it. If I can do that. I'll make some money. I don't know what all that is. It looks like coolant almost. Or battery stuff, so they sprayed the battery. Heck, it could be just a vacuum leak. Or just a misfiring uh, injector. Or, that yeah, one's got wires on it. Could be a few different things. It doesn't have a bad knocking sound or anything. So, my thing is, thing needs to go up there. I have to run through and check everything out. But as far as I know, it's out of power steering fluid. That's one. It's two wheel drive instead of four wheel drive. Let's raise this window. So, yeah, all in all, I'm a. Uh, pretty happy with uh, my purchase so we're gonna find out hopefully this thing doesn't need an engine hopefully it just needs another sensor or so uh, or another coil pack could need a coil pack so and if that's the case I got a few but we need to change sparks plugs coil packs possibly uh, go through and fix this uh, power steering leak because it has a power steering leak right up here as most do so it's cracked or spurting out uh, make sure it has water it does on the minimum side but that's not bad so yes this is going to be my replacement for my 2008 Ford Expedition four wheel drive this is limited that one is not that one has rust this one as far as I see doesn't so all that's gone on mine and then I have a, a third passenger in the middle so if need be and I want to because we're gonna take a family trip in a couple months I will uh, swap over the seats and put that middle seat back in but as for today's video of going to pick up a project for 2023 the first project of the year minus what's in the shop that i still have because i'm still oh, it's dark i'm still working on some stuff as of the 240 which uh hopefully in the next week or two this will be running uh yeah we're gonna get that done because I need this space, I need this out of here, I need that in here, and then I've got another project I need in here as well. So, what this means is, Happy New Year to me, I guess, because i got more work. So, uh, this fix, I'm going to do a little different than I did last time for the power steering. I don't like how, it might just need to be polished, but this one's clean. I might have bought a brand new light for that side. I like that. I like the black. So I'm wondering if that's what they did. We'll polish that and see if that comes out better. Pog lights down here look dingy. I almost got hit over here. 
I don't know. Oh well. But anyway, thanks for joining in to another episode of the shop. Hopefully, this motivates you to go buy, flash, spend your own money on stuff that can help, can work out, can be better. Uh, yeah. If you got to borrow a trailer, that's what I do. I hope to have another trailer for me in the next six months. Um, I'll have an update on this beast right here because uh, it, it needs a little love. I just did a oil change on it, but it needs a little YouTube love. It needs to be on the channel and me to explain the cost, the reliability, and everything else that I have in this. Especially using it for towing things because this isn't the first, this isn't the last. It's going to happen a few more times. So, check out uh, all our social medias. Check out Teespring. We're going to have a website up this year. So you can check that out. But until then, next time.